the morning again. Obviously back out local once again, back out in Port Rush. And um, checking the weather. This is always the case, I like to check literally just before I go to bed. And even though today looked like it was going to be sort of quite rainy and overcast, it looked like the first part of the day was going to be, you know, a bit of a chance. Now we have some broken cloud above us. Some broken cloud, heavier cloud out to the east. A few weather systems moving over the Skerries. Uh, Northern Ireland is due some snow and ice today, but I don't think we're going to get anything here in, in Port Rush. It looks like there was a little bit of fog around as well, but I say I'm staying local, so just out, just out here. I wish it got here sort of five minutes earlier because there was a lovely bit of weather moving through. Now there's no light, um, but a lovely bit of bull weather moving through. Now, given the fact that we do have some lovely clouds above us, all we do need is a little bit of a break, as, as you know, on the east. Whether that happens or not is anyone's guess. I think it's still about 20 minutes or so to sunrise. Not a huge amount of colour in those clouds at the moment, but you never know. So, probably going to head down into this little area here and see whether I can find a composition. Um, and then I might move back around to the little beach at the Arcadia. I've never shot really here before. Um, it's always the way. You, you end up kind of not really staying local. And I think I, I talked about this maybe, or maybe I did, maybe I blogged about it, I don't know. but. You know, the whole restrictions, don't get me wrong, I'm a nomad, I love to travel, and we really cannot wait to get travelling again. But the restrictions that we're kind of under at the moment really are opening up some additional sort of bits of potential around here, so let's just see how we go. So I brought myself down to the water's edge, as you can see. Five minutes before sunrise, so I'm going to surmise that I can't see that, but we're not going to get any pre dawn light. So now the next hope is that there's a gap above the horizon that allows the sun to kind of spill into. Um, we're at low tide, well, low tide was a couple of hours ago, so the tide is coming back in again. Um, I just love the reflections. I'm not sure whether you're going to be able to see that too well, but just the the, the reflections on the on, on the um, on the sand. I've actually put the polarizer and the four stop on already. It is giving me about a sort of 14, 15 second exposure, which I wasn't intending on doing. But then there's not a huge amount of energy in those waves as they sort of come up to my to my side, and so I'd rather just completely completely blur those out. But it's mainly about the reflections, the sort of soft. Try to sort of give a, a more softer feel to, to, to the image, and then just a little bit, bit of weather. Given the fact that we do seem to have lots of weather moving over the skerries and over the horizon, little gap, little gap, that's all we need. We could actually start to see some of our friend the rainbow. I have it in a horizontal composition at the moment, and that's allowing me to take in both the causeway, a little bit of the beach, and obviously the skerries, but I actually think there's maybe going to be a case for removing the skerries from a frame and doing a portrait orientation, so I think that's what I'll set up now. We're setting up a shot looking over to the Skerries, and next thing to horse riders came along so shot a couple of images there I wasn't really set up for it because I had to take the four stop off and just had the polarizer on so probably a little bit of movement in the horses but hey so I've actually brought myself up onto these lovely rocks now I'm just watching again where it's gonna be a low tide or the tide's coming back in again but I, I should be fine um, maybe I'll just clamber up here like some buffoon um, there's still some lovely weather moving through over the scaries but we're just not getting any light, so I guess the, the sun must be more obscured than I had hoped. But I also was doing some B-roll on the X-T4, which has the 10-24, to 20, see I'm hopeless with tech, 10-24 to 24 on it. You know, the I'm not a big wide angle person, but having the iPhone 12 Pro Maximus Spartacus phone and shooting wide on that is a heck of a lot of fun. And so what I might do is at some point over these next weeks, 
it's just come out with the XT4 and the 10 to 24 from a stills perspective and actually do a little bit of wide fun so but because I think these rocks here really do suit for the, for that for that wide view but unfortunately I have um, it set up for vlogging at the moment not for stills so right let's hope for some weather we'll see whether or not we can just yeah four stop polarizer XT2 18 to 135 I do get the odd comment for people saying please tell me what you're shooting on so and it's F something or other I might focus back here a little bit because I am there's a little bit of a depth of field issue perhaps so again just giving me that extra um, rather than um, putting on like F14 or something I might just throw in a bit of a stacked image just to be sure on something like F8 or something so come on weather you know you want to not a great image if truth be told don't get me wrong i think it has some things going for it at the top of the frame in that sky but the bottom two thirds just seems quite rushed quite forced moving over to a horizontal view perhaps it's a little bit better but i think again that the bottom sort of two thirds or bottom half of the frame is just a little bit a little bit busy now the top of the frame in a three by one aspect ratio I think is where the most powerful parts of the image are and um, that perhaps helped me sort of in some of the choices that I made later in the shoot but not great let's get back out into the field okay we're starting to get some really nice reflective light oh my goodness me it's kicking off over the causeway can't be too long in fact I'm gonna put you down oh. Oh, so ran out onto the beach. There's some gorgeous weather moving through and some lovely light. Far too windy to, to, to record any, any talking, so I just kind of shot, 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 and I'll throw some of those images up, or maybe I already have. Who knows? But I'm back now to focusing over the, over the scaries. There's just a lovely band of cloud right above them, so I've got the camera in a 16 by 9 format again. Kind of uh, not too much of the sky, just enough of those clouds, and then sort of about a three second exposure just softening out those, those waves with a little bit of texture in the waves the further out you, you go but it's the little sort of band of clouds it's the little band of clouds above the scaries that are really really appealing to me the light's gorgeous the light's really nice it's it's not like in your face it's just a lovely subtle sort of purpley yellow just beautiful oh and over here actually and again you're not going to really see this but like, Ah, I actually darkened it down. Main technology, eh? Oh my god, look at that! So apologies for the voice over here just to finish things off the the wind had got so strong once i stepped out onto the open stretch of beach that it just made the audio not really usable but to be honest the best of the light had gone by now as well um, which meant that we lost a lot of that sort of stormy conditions so i ended up starting to look at the little outflow here just below my feet and maybe using a polarizer to help look below the surface of the water but again, to be honest, given the fact that we had lost most of the, the better light, looking out to, towards the horizon didn't really yield many good results. The tide had also started to come in, which forced me out of my other location, which was a bit of a shame. But um, all in all, I think I'm reasonably pleased with the morning's work. I especially liked uh, the three by one aspect ratio of the sort of cloud texture over the scaries. And funny enough, the little um, Im or the image of the horses as well, which was a bit of a grab image, but it ended up being, I think, one of my favorite images from the morning. It is a shame that we didn't get any direct light because of course with light and with weather systems moving over the scaries, we could have got some lovely sort of conditions such as this, which had been shot a couple of years previously from the same location. 
Anyway guys, well I hope you've enjoyed this little run out to East Strand in Portrush. Um, as always, thanks for your support and until next time, take care. Bye bye.